Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I am your host, Mrs. M. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you can subscribe to my channel and not miss out on anything you need to scale your business to six figures and beyond. Pow! Now in this video, I'm gonna talk specifically about one way you can win contracts, and I mean now, and that's disaster relief contracts. I love, love, love those because any level, just getting started to someone that's been in business for decades can come in on any of the phases I talk about. Now at the end of this video, I am going to give you actionable items, yes. One, I am gonna give you the URL for your state procurement, which is going to be all about finding the particular individuals in your state that actually award the disaster relief contracts and so much more. Having access to them, and I mean having access to their website, their name, their title, their email address, and their phone number. All you need to do is craft a really great introduction letter, which I've spoken about on numerous occasions. So if you looked at any of my videos, you know exactly what you need to do for your intro letter. The other thing I'm going to give you is I am going to give you at least a couple of particular prime contractors that are looking to do business with you, whether it's federal, state, or local. So this is something you can implement either before, after, or be into the new year. So before Christmas, after Christmas, or into the new year, because into the new year, like I said, there are four phases. So let's talk about the four phases again. Mitigation, preparedness, then we're looking at response and recovery. A lot of you will come into the recovery stage. And why is that important? Because right now, a lot of you have not done the things you need to do to be able to respond. Response is all about phase number three, saving lives, food, shelter, all of that right now. A lot of them are MREs, meals ready to eat, water. But they need people that are on the ground responding immediately. So if you are just getting started, you're probably going to come under the recovery, which is great because there's two parts. Recovery number one is anything from six months to around a year. And recovery part number two is anything we're looking at from a year to decades. So you could, in the foreseeable future, get money as a residual. And I am a big fan of residual time and time and time again. So let's look at the framework that is one me serious money in government when it comes to disaster relief. I was in Florida. I also did a couple of things when I was in Korea when it came to disaster relief. Floods. So I really, really know that this is something that can work for you. And I love it because like I said, some of us haven't had the privilege of having all the things we need to do to have in place. So we feel like we're gonna miss out on opportunities. No more. Now you don't have any reasons or excuses. So let's narrow it down. First, we want to look at, like I always talk about, my framework when it comes to winning again and again and again. Just simply follow this. It's really easy. Number one, what's your offer? Service, product, boom. Get it down packed so you know. Number two, what's your agency? Now, when I talk about agency, I'm talking about the whole agency. And then I like to narrow it down even further to specific contracting officers. It's one thing to know the agency. It's another thing to know the contracting officers. So, Staying to the end, I will make sure you have that. Now, let's look at if we want to work with FEMA. If we're looking at working with FEMA, that's the agency. And then within that agency, we want to make sure that we know a couple of contracting officers that are going to be able to work with us. How do we find that? You want to go to FPDS, Federal Procurement Data System. And when you go there, you want to make sure that you put in advanced search and then you're going to filter your way down into date sign. Those are some of the filters that on the fpds.gov. You want to go into date sign. It's going to ask you from and to. Then that's when you want to simply put in, I would usually go maybe three months out and then to the current date that you're looking at this video. Okay. Once you do that, you then want to hit add. It's going to give you all of the contracts that are from that date, from March or August or whatever you want, I say do at least a sampling of 90 days. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to narrow it down to the place of performance, P-O-P. -P. You want to go back in, FPDS, you're going to still be there, advanced search, you're going to go down and scroll down in the box, and you're going to see, because you're going to put add, you're going to see where it says POP, place of performance. Choose your state. Once you put your place of performance, 
when you choose, um, when you put POP, then another box is going to come up and it's going to say like, L-I-K-E. You want to make sure that you put it in your state in all caps, must be in all caps, then hit add. Now we've narrowed down our search criteria to we looked at the date that they're signed and the uh, place of performance. And of course, in the very beginning, when it asks you from the very beginning to put in the Google search keyword, you want to put in whatever your industry is. So logistics, transport, you know, whether it's logistics or whether you're looking at doing security or call centers or janitorial or landscaping, put that in, then go into advanced search, hit date, to and from, then add, then go into the advanced search again, and you want to put in POP for place of performance. Now you're going to see on the um, left-hand side, you're going to see agencies. Guess what you can do? You can then choose FEMA, because FEMA will be on there. You want to then choose FEMA. And if it's not, you want to add FEMA because that's going to be a part of your search. Then you're going to see contracts that were signed. And then you're going to be able to look at the individual contracts, contracts that were signed in your place of performance, your state, within a certain date with the agency. And guess what's going to be on there? The contracting officer. Now, remember, we talked about our offer. Then we jumped into the buyer, but we knew the buyer and agency, too large. Then we go into narrowing it down because we know that FEMA is the number one place that provides us with disaster relief contracts. Now we know what agency, and then it also gives us the, the agencies, it gives us the department, and it gives us the other contractor, contractors that are doing this thing well. That means the large ones. So what can you do? You can reach out to them because you're going to know that they're in your state. You're going to know their phone number, their information. You can go to their website, all of that juicy information right there. Bam. All right. What's next? Once we figure out that we want to do our offer, we know who our agency buyer is, and then we know that we want to figure out what our differentiator is. Definitely make sure you put your differentiator very big. Then number four is going to be our vehicle. Now, when I talk about vehicle, I'm talking about what do you want to ride up and win that contract in? You want to do it with disaster relief contracts, right? But let's narrow it down even further. We want to make sure that we do it with a micro purchase that's 10K and under. And a micro purchase is a single purchase 10K. That means we can do five of those babies, five micro purchases, okay? Then we can do our smart card, which is our smart commercial government commercial card. It's called a smart card, and that is all about 25K. So we can look at that's what the government is doing as well. And then last, we can do 250, 250, we're looking at our simplified acquisition. So now we know what our offer is, boom. We know who the buyer is, boom. We know that what our what we're going to do to stand out, work on that for a while, okay? Then we know what vehicle we're going to ride up and win those contracts. We're going to narrow it down even further. 10K for micro purchase, 25K for the smart and then 250K for the simplified acquisition procedure. Then it gets better. We want to make sure that we start to really, really narrow down building the relationship because we know where to find them. We knew the agency, FEMA, and then we're going to look at the individual contracts because I want to tell you something. Did you know that 70% of the contracts are renewed? 70. So if we know one, when one is going to expire, we can very easily then find the contracting officer or the contracting specialist and we can build that relationship so that that way we are already in position to win when the contract expires. And then even one better is I always talk about one of the things we can do. If a contract is too large, then we definitely want to start networking. Network, network, network. So you can start looking in, in um, SAM.gov and the database so that that way you can make sure you start finding people that are in your area, which you can set that criteria with SAM, and you can absolutely find someone that can network with you in order to break that contract into a bite-sized piece where you can handle it. Now, I have a 20-point assessment on whether or not you are in a position to win a contract. What are your best chances? And I break it down like to 10, 
point chances are very slim, and I go all the way up to 20. It's just a couple of things on an assessment. You ready? Let's go. First thing we look at is, do you have a professional email address? You're going to say yes or no. That's going to, we're going to count on how many no's and how many yeses. We're going to talk about, do we have our DSBS profile set, our dynamic small business search profile set? That's going to give us a yes or no. We're going to talk about also if we have our capability statement, do we have a professional website? Do we have 10K, $10,000, either in a line of credit or that we have available? Now, a lot of you may answer no, but remember, it's an assessment. So not just one no is going to throw you off. We go into what our chances are from the best to probably to okay to absolutely no. And you want to do this because it makes sense. You don't want to waste any of your time, right? But anyway, this assessment will be, the link will be at the, it will be available to you for you to actually download and go onto our Facebook. You have to join the Facebook because we give you so much more on our Facebook group. So I'm looking forward to you downloading and assessing it. Now, before we go, I've got a couple more things for you, and that is your state. Now, let's say you do not want to do federal because federal, you do have to make sure that you fill out the FEMA vendor profile and you do have to make sure you have your cage code and UEI and all that before you can fill all that out. So those are the basic requirements in order to do work with the federal government for disaster relief. But let's say you want to do state and local. Guess what? You can actually visit your state procurement. Every particular state has a state procurement officer officials absolutely and if you visit them what are you going to do well what i always talk about you doing building that relationship the big r and the way you do that is through reaching out to them first through your introduction letter and your capability yes even if you're doing state and local you must give them those then if you don't hear anything back in about two weeks no more than 30 days what are you going to do then well, my students know and my clients know you're going to follow up. The money is in the follow-up. That's what's going to set you apart. You're going to follow up and follow up and follow up until you get some acknowledgement that they've received your introduction letter. And hopefully the next thing is they're going to ask you to do a capability briefing. Now, if you guys don't know what all this stuff is, you absolutely need to come to my masterclass because I give it to you straight, no chaser. I actually talk about the capability briefing, which is just like a PowerPoint where all the buyers are coming together to look at you. It's fun, can be a little bit intimidating, but no worries, it is fun. So then you've got your state procurement officers, officials, each individual state has a name that you're going to send your introduction letter to. And then the other thing is you're going to go to your state preparement, preparedness, which is their emergency. And that is where they do their pooled contracts. Remember, I talked about federal. Federal does it with GSA and with FEMA. But if you're looking to do it with your state, they have a bunch of pooled contracts waiting and ready for you if you're ready. So if you're looking at doing business with your state, you want to check out your state procurement. Every state has a state procurement, and I am going to have that particular link available in our Facebook. Yes, you'll be able to click on there. It takes you to your state all in one little nice area. And also, I'm going to have that ready for you when it comes to your emergency management. It will take you there as well. Now, this helps. But it really doesn't close the deal unless you know about that capability briefing, have your CAPE statement, you've got your website ready, and you've got your elevator pitch, and you also, also, also have your introduction letter. Now, it may sound like a lot, but it really isn't. It's just being prepared and being proactive and not reactive. You don't want to miss a golden opportunity. And I'm telling you, disaster relief contracts are not going anywhere. They're here to stay because unfortunately, we are going to go through a lot of disasters in our lifetime. And we want to make sure that we are helping and adding value as well as making that money. So this is what you can do. You can actually look in the links for the ones that I'm going to give you to link to the Facebook group. And you're going to find that assessment to know how well and what you're doing and so much more. And if you want the more, drum roll, please. You want to make sure to come to my disaster relief. My disaster relief free masterclass. I only keep you for no more than an hour. 
And if you think I'm giving you some great things, hopefully cross my fingers in this video, then you know what I'm going to give you in that free masterclass. I'm gonna give you all the information, what you need to say in your introduction letter, what your capability statement needs to look like for disaster release, specifically customized for that. So if that's something you're definitely looking at, then make sure you join me. Click the link so that you can actually be in my free masterclass, Space is Limited. And I look forward to you signing up for Facebook, looking at the links where you can learn more and coming to the free masterclass. Until next time, be safe and take care. Bye-bye.